thin engine oil is not safe? Or is it thick motor oil that's not safe? You're about to find out, but I suggest always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. First, let's hit a few subjects that's very important really quickly to not waste your time. 5W30, what does this represent? W stands for weight, wrong. It actually stands for winner. Now, the five or the 30 does not stand for weight either. So what do these numbers represent? The five represents what the engine is capable of flowing at at cold temperatures. The 30 represents what the characteristics are of the motor oil at operating temperatures. They do multiple tests for each set number. Now, that doesn't mean that, for example, as the motor oil heats up, that it actually becomes thicker. Wrong. What actually happens is it has the characteristics of a 30 weight oil. Now, why wouldn't you want to use, say, a 0W40 if your manufacturer recommends a 5W30? After all, this would provide more protection, correct, at cold temperatures and more hot temperatures. So why doesn't the manufacturer suggest it? Guys, there's multiple issues when it comes to motor oil. For example, did you know a 0W40 isn't going to be quite as stable as say a 5W30? That's right, because the greater the difference in the numbers from 0 to 40, the less stable the motor oil is over a period of time and it may not be able to hold up quite like the 5W30. Yes, it is better at cold temperatures and yes, it does have the characteristics to be better at hotter temperatures, which is a major problem and this is why you might want to use a thick motor oil for the manufacturer because a 30 weight oil obviously cannot outperform a 40 weight oil and there I go saying weight or the 30 which represents the viscosity is nothing more than the viscosity's characteristics. It will not allow it to hold up to a 40 in viscosity at hot temperatures or operating temperatures. So that's why you would obviously be better off. Now could you exchange some of these oils for example, could I use a 0W40 if my car recommended a 5W30? Well, technically you could, but the efficiency wouldn't be quite as good. And yes, it would perform better at colder temperatures, but the manufacturer does millions and millions of dollars of research. So you want to follow their suggestions. If you're using an oil that's too thin, believe it or not, this could actually affect the pumpability. Yeah, it could cause a lot of problems. Around the journal bearings, guess what's gonna happen? You could actually have leaks. That's right, because if the oil is too thin, the engine's not made for it, and it's gonna have problems pumping this motor oil. Not to mention startup temperatures. We all know about this. It's gonna make it much more difficult for the engine to start up. As I said, why would you use the more thick, viscous motor oil? Well, it's pretty obvious because when you reach extreme temperatures, for example, if you're going to take an engine and use it for a racetrack, then you may want to up the viscosity for the hot temperature rating because this is going to provide you more protection. Your oil will be more viscous at higher temperatures. As always guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.